Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be going deep into my makeup collection, and we're gonna be looking at some of the products that I use when I do my makeup. So of course I have multiple contour sticks, I have multiple foundations, I have multiple highlights, multiple blushes, and we're just gonna be looking at some of those products, and I'm gonna tell you guys which of the products I prefer, which of the products I don't really prefer, what I feel like I need to change, what I feel like I need to buy again, what I need to buy new of, and everything in between. So if you haven't already done so, please, please don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so the first product that I use on my face before I apply any makeup and after I apply my makeup are my setting sprays, these guys. So we have the Max Fix Plus in the travel size and we have the e.l.f. Um, makeup Mist and Set. So these products are setting sprays. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I prefer to wear this after I have washed and I have moisturized and toned my face and then after I'm finished with my makeup I like to apply this and it's just because I've used the Mac Fix Plus before I like it it's kind of expensive and I really don't feel like it gives me results that just make me feel like I am just blown away like it's good it, 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 it is but it's just if I'm gonna pay that I want it to be great so I like to use this and Elf products, I have a lot of them. I use them when I started out doing makeup on myself and I really feel like they've really come a long way as a brand and this product has always been a staple for me. I will buy this product forever. I feel like it just makes my makeup just smell everything, looks gorgeous it, it, and it stays. And this product is like a fraction of this product. This travel size is $10. I think this might be like four to $6 and I think the bigger size of this might be $8 since they, they may have a larger size. So this is also two fluid ounces and this is only one fluid ounce. So $10, like $4 possibly. Like you just can't get a better deal. So of course I will definitely buy this again because I do like the way it feels on my face and I have dry skin. So I've said before that as much moisture as I can get on my face before I apply any makeup, the better. And this I really feel helps that. But as far as to set my face and go throughout the day and go on about my business, this is it girl the price everything the formula everything so that's that okay so the next product that i like to use when i do my makeup are these so these are mac luster drops so we have the um luster drop in sunrush and we also have the luster drop in pink rebel so if you've seen me do my makeup before, I like to put my foundation on my skin because I feel like it really warms the foundation and preps it to be put on my face. And you've seen me use these in either in the foundation or I mix it in the foundation um, and before I apply it to my face. These can be used as highlighters. These can be used um, in your foundation. These can be used if you wanna uh, put them in some solution and make your own kind of like oil. Like these things are really versatile. I just recently got this one and it's a pink color and I've had this one, this Sunrush color for a little bit because um, I actually got this one at a MAC event for one of their like tropical summer um, collections that they had, I think it was last year. And of these two products, I'm gonna have to be honest with you, I prefer this one. I just feel like it gives me like a really cute glow in my makeup that I don't really see with this one. This is very pink. And it's nothing wrong with being pink, but you know, I bought this one online, uh, secondhand, and I didn't really know what I was expecting because I thought the only luster drops that they had were the gold. And I can't find the Sunrush anymore. If you know where to get it, please tell me. So these are how the colors look. The one here is the, um, the Sunrush, and the one at the top is the um, Pink Rebel. So of these two products, I definitely love this. We'll definitely buy this product again if I can find it online, wherever, Mac. If you discontinued it, please bring it back. Um, this one, it was great to try, but I'm not crazy about it. The And the Pink Re Rebel, and maybe I can use it for something else like a highlight instead of using it in my foundation because I don't feel like I get that same kind of glow. And that's that. Okay, so the next thing that I have in my makeup collection that I use when I am applying makeup to my face are these two. Now, please excuse the fact that they're dirty as all get out. I have not washed them since the last time I did my face. I need to ASAP. So these are the blending sponges. 
and this is the original beauty blender no knockoff this is actually the real one i feel like i've had this in a really long time which is why it's kind of breaking up and this is the real technique sponge i think i need to replace this one too because it's going lower and these two um this one retails for i think about six dollars or so this one retails for 20. so uh, this one's more expensive than this one um as you can see they're both kind of damp and you can see how they look next to each other um, honestly, I used to really love this. I did. I was bougie and paying $20 for a sponge was just life at the time. Um, now, I really like this. Like, I, I don't know what it is, but I really, really, really prefer this. And I use this, I definitely do, but I feel like for $6, I even have, like, for $6, damn. Like, it just, it works great. It's, it's really good. Um, I do feel like this does soak up my makeup and I haven't really tried to see if maybe this one doesn't like now with my new makeup routines I do feel like especially with my foundation I go in with a brush first to apply my foundation and then I come back with this to kind of pat it in to kind of give a little clean look um, this I feel like it's really great for around here because of how pointed it is but this actually comes in smaller sizes and they're still cheaper you can buy this and then the smaller ones for the same price that you would buy this for so unless you just want it all then, then hey but um, also this is really hard to clean this is a little bit easier to clean than this this is really hard to clean like ridiculously hard to like really get clean this one kind of but not so much um, so of these two products I do have another um, beauty blender it's black and I haven't even opened it yet. And I'm thinking, of course, of replacing these because they're cheap. Um, of these two, I feel like I would replace this to, just to kind of compare with a brand new one, just to kind of compare and see if it's soaking up my makeup, especially my foundation, the same way this one is. Um, but if, if I do the research and it's not, I would definitely stick with this. Like spending $20 on a sponge, it doesn't sound like that big a deal, but it can be, especially since you have to replace them so often. So this is, this is life. This is, this is, this is life. So that's that. Okay. So the next thing that I use in my everyday makeup is of course concealer slash highlighter. So this is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind um, Erase Dark Circle, um, I guess, concealer. And this is the Fenty Beauty um, cover stick in the color Wheat, was well, the matchstick in Wheat. Um, this is the color Neutralizer. So of these two, when I have a day where I'm just having like a natural face, I just wanna go, I don't have a lot of time. What I do is I change the way I do my makeup. Usually when I do my makeup for like bigger events and I have a lot more time, I put my foundation on first and then I apply my, um, my uh, highlight and everything to my face when I have when I'm in a rush I usually like to take my concealer and even my um, my uh, contour and everything and put it on first and then put my foundation over it and then go over that with a uh, powder to kind of set it and darken it up so I do that because it feels like it gives me a more natural look versus when I'm looking a little bit more beat for the cheap seats in the back uh, <laughs> when I put everything on top of the foundation and blend it out and go from there. So as far as these two products, I do like this product. This product can be used for um, eyelid primer, an eyeshadow primer. It can be used for a highlight. It can be used for concealer. They have other colors. Um, I really do like it. it has a little sponge at the end of it. It's clearly been used and I'm, I'm, I've been using it. I really do like this. Um, I feel like it does, um, it doesn't take a lot to blend out. It is very, um, it's going to stay now. It ain't moving. And I, I feel like it's very versatile. So I really do like this product. Um, as far as the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks, now, I bought all three. I bought a um, highlight color, I bought a contour color, and I bought a, um, like a shimmer, whatever, uh, highlight thing. Um, this is very hard to blend out like it just kind of is like it's really hard to blend out it stays in uh it stays it does stay in place it doesn't really move it's not really movable i've tried to put this on my eyes and it isn't as creamy as this um as far as an eyelid primer i'm sure you can't use it you just got to get in there and uh but it's not like a favorite like it's not something that i feel like i have to have now so to be honest i don't think i would buy the fenty um this again i wouldn't buy this again especially because of the price compared to this this is drugstore this is quite cheap i think you can get it for like maybe eight or nine dollars and i'm being generous with the price as far as like being a top end this is like at least in the 20 dollars range so i would go with this so if you're just kind of starting out this is great if you just find this and this just works for you definitely go get the 56 of course i'm going to support 50 rihanna but if if you are just looking for something to do your little um highlight and do your little thing and, and go go um i would 
go drugstore and maybe look into this Maybelline product. Maybelline makes pretty good products. And I would possibly leave this for a day when, you know, you just got the money to blow. That's just me. Um, I definitely do feel like it, it does nice for a natural look. Um, it doesn't give me the shine through that this does or that I would want it to. So that's another reason why I wouldn't buy it again. Maybe I need to try different colors and wheat, but for the price, I, I would stick with this one over this one. Sorry, Rihanna. Sorry. Okay, so for the next item, we have my contour stick. So again, we have the Fenty Beauty um, contour stick. This is the matte stick in truffle. And we have the black opal um, true color uh, stick in black walnut. And see, this is the color. And this is the color in this one. So let me see if I can swatch my mind. So with these two products, um, I bought the black opal because I wanted to support black businesses. And to my understanding, Black Opal is a black owned makeup company. That's just my understanding. So I went to go and buy this. I saw when uh, girls were doing, you know, black owned brands makeup tutorial. I saw this on there. I saw another girl use it. She used it in a different color. When I went to the only Walmart close to me that carries this, uh, they only had this black walnut color. So I got it. And then of course, with the wheat matchstick and the highlight that I bought, when I bought the Fenty, when Fenty first came out and I bought the matchsticks, um, I was matched with truffle. So I bought the truffle to use as uh, my contour stick. So this one is the Fenty and this one is the Black Opal. So as you can see, the truffle's a little lighter, the Black Opal is, is darker. And um, with that being said, that that's a good and bad. When I want something a really dramatic contour, the Black Opal is the go-to. When I want a more natural contour, I use the Fenty. Now, I like both products. The Fenty, of course, is more expensive than the Black Opal, but I feel like sometimes it's like an issue with both of them. The black opal, I feel like sometimes because it's too dark, maybe I do need to get my right color, I have to go back in with a sponge and kind of soak up some of the product before I go back in with it, in with it with a bronzer or with a powder to kind of contour my face. I actually had to do that um, this weekend. With the Fenty, um, sometimes I feel like it shows up on my skin kind of grayish. I, I just, the color is not like something I'm in love with. On my skin now it looks gorgeous, but on my face for some reason I just don't like, I just, I'm not crazy about it. It does do well though when it comes to like an everyday look. I don't feel, I've tried to use the black opal for an everyday look and it's just really dark and it kind of takes over the look since I don't apply a whole bunch of makeup for like just an everyday kind of thing. But when I'm trying to go out and the face is feet and it's sitting on top and it's been, you know, doctored up to be, you know, streamlined, the black opal looks great. So I feel like I would definitely try the black opal again in a different color. And as far as the Fenty, I feel like I probably would buy Truffle again just for my everyday faces. And the reason why I say that is even though I kind of don't like the color going on when I do have an everyday face, I'm able to use my bronzer or use my powder uh, that I go over with to achieve the look that I that I want. But it's, I, I just enjoy cream products because of my dry skin. So this, this is good. So either one, I would definitely check out either one. If your budget allows, maybe try this. Um, if your budget doesn't, this is definitely just as good how I feel about it. And, and, and that's that. Okay, so the next thing that I use when I do uh, my makeup routine is a um, setting powder, powder specifically for my highlight. So I like this and of course here, maybe a little powder here um, to kind of set that, uh, that brightness. So I have two. I have the Ben Nye Luxury uh, Banana, of course, Banana Powder. Everybody knows what this is. And then I only have a sample size of this because I just tried it. And this is the Laura Mercier um, Setting Powder in the color Translucent. Okay, so here's the thing on this. And of course, like every other girl, when I saw Kim Kardashian's picture of the beautiful um, set, set face with the just amazing colors and everything, I went out and bought this. Um, what I didn't know, which is after more research, was that not only did she use this color, but she also used the pink and the white that Ben Nye has and kind of mixed them together to kind of fit her face and her color and her undertones and everything like that to achieve that look. I have not purchased the white and the pink yet. I have some darker colors like some sienna. I, I have some darker colors because I felt like I could use them for powders for my um, contour. I haven't really used them to be honest, but um, I use this to set my um, my face when I'm doing a more higher end look. When I'm doing a, 
like just everyday kind of thing. I have a drugstore brand um, setting pressed powder that I use um, so that I don't have to bake and all that kind of stuff because this is more for what I use in baking. And I always try to put this again on my skin to kind of warm it up, get, get the with the follicles before I apply it to my face. Um, this, the Laurel Mercier, I have heard people talk about it. Uh, the price tag, ain't cheap. And I went to Sephora and I got them to give me a sample. And when I went to the Beyonce concert, I used it on myself and let me just say, I like it. I did not think this powder was everything people said it was, but it is. Jokes on me. So I really like this. Like I was able to take my, I don't need my, and I messed up because I used a wet sponge, but I really should use a dry sponge with this. And I try to use a dry sponge with this as well, but this is definitely a dry sponge. And put it on, like when I tell you, when I placed this, it ain't go nowhere. Like it was sitting just right up under that contour, like just gorgeous. Like this was good. And so I'm gonna use up my little sample. I'm gonna get my funds together and I'm gonna buy the full size in this because I feel like it is worth it. Like for what it gave from, it was uh, like it. Really, 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 really like it. Really excited to try it. Like in the full size, I feel like I won't be disappointed. Uh, when it comes to this, I do feel like when I put it on my face for baking, it kind of just seeps in. Like it doesn't really, I can put a whole bunch and like scoop it on my, and just try it. It's just not doing, it's just not doing what I needed to do. So with that being said, it's a lot of product in here. So I'm gonna have this for a while and I probably should, it says 30 months on here. So that's a long time. That's a long time to have this, uh, 30 months. And uh, this is a whole bunch of product. Uh, ben Nye uh, is more costume makeup, which is big. And this isn't wasn't very expensive. I think I got this on eBay, probably a, like, a, I got this on eBay. And I, or actually I take that back. I probably ordered it from the website because it really isn't that expensive, especially versus this. But to be honest, I would rather spend the money on this than continue using this and not being satisfied. So that's just, yeah, sorry. What I will do though, is I will possibly buy the white and the pink powders to mix them and kind of see um, different ways in which maybe applying this instead of maybe without a sponge and with like an actual brush and see if maybe that helps retaining the product instead of it being on one of my beauty blenders. Okay, so the next thing I have that I use for my everyday makeup routine are of course brushes. So I have this brush and I have this brush. These br brushes I use for my contour. So I got a little contour left. So I use these um, sometimes I'll use them directly with my cream and I'll take them and and move them or use this to move around that um, that contour and as you can see this one is the Fenty one and it's kind of moving this black opal ain't really going nowhere so I usually have to with the black opal because it's so dense and it's very very creamy I have to go ahead and use a beauty blender but most of the time I still try to um, take this and at least chisel out my face with um with these two brushes of course this is an elf brush this is a part of their higher end kind of black collection and um it was not around three dollars i think it was maybe three to something like three four dollars somewhere around here it wasn't that expensive this is the sonia kasha tools number 30 brush and this one i actually got on clearance when the um target section of sonia kasha was being i guess revamped and she was releasing new things and she was getting rid of some things and, and all that so um you can see the difference in the brushes um you see one is a little bit more straight one's a little bit more fluffy um this one's a little bit more dense again this is a little bit more fluffy and i like both of these brushes i feel like i do have to use i feel like it's imperative that i use this brush when i'm using the black opal if i'm gonna try to use the black opal opal um this one because it's a lot more dense and it can move this is a little more fluffy so i feel like this works great with that fenty uh matchstick in uh truffle um also i feel like if i use a whole bunch of um of the contour color and i'm like ooh, I, like because usually i draw like little little dashes around my face to do it um i think that this brush just kind of drags it along like it's it's this is better if i use a very little and then i kind of want to drag it about this one if i use a lot i can get it into my hairline like i can get it up on my cheeks like this one is really 
good at moving the product. This one is just really dense. So I'm glad I have this brush. I would definitely buy this brush again. I do not know how much I paid for this brush. It was not that much because it was on clearance. Um, I think our brushes sometimes are kind of in the mid-level range. It's not crazy expensive, but um, it ain't super cheap either like this one. Um, if you just want to try what a brush like this would do for your face, because that's kind of why I, I buy e.l.f. products, because I can at least try what they're going to do to my face first uh, before I go out and buy a more expensive uh, type in a better in a better shape and all that. Um, I would go for this brush. If you just want to jump right in and you find this brush and it's on clearance or it's on sale or it's whatever, this brush is actually really good. It's The, it, the bristles are really soft. The, the bristles are soft here too. I have not had any uh, bristles falling out or nothing like that. Same thing with this. I feel like maybe this brush isn't going to last me as long as this brush has, to be honest. But um, I like it. Okay, so the next thing that I have that... Okay, no. Where is it? So the next thing that I use to do my eyebrows, because your girl has to, to get an eyebrow to shape that face, are these bad boys. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Dip Brow Pomade in Medium Brown, and this is the Benefit Cabral in the number four. Okay, I just recently bought this one. I've had this one for quite some time, and I love it. Like, this is amazing. So I really didn't know how to do my eyebrows. I didn't know how to shape, I just didn't know how to do I did not know how to do eyebrows for a very long time um, until I just jumped out here and started practicing. I used to just take a pencil and just kind of draw a little Nike chick on my eyebrow, and that wasn't that wasn't it. So I just started playing around, and one of the first products that I did use was the um, I think it was the NYX their kind of like tube squeeze brow pomade, and I took a brow um, a brow slanted brush and I tried to kind of carve out my eyebrows. Now that was great to practice with. Only thing was, it came out like the brown looked a little gray, which is what I didn't like, which is why I said, well, you know what, If I, there's so much product in here. Um, I've watched enough YouTube videos, I kind of practice, so let me go ahead and get this. First of all, I love this, and I love the brush. The brush with this is so good. Like, I broke mine, and I'm, I just bought a Morphe um, eyebrow brush, and I, I do like it, so far. I've only used it with this product. I haven't used it with this product yet, but I do like it. Um, but oh my God, this is just amazing. I, I, I worked really well with the cream, um, cream uh, like eyebrow pomade. Like it's more controlled for me. It just works better with how I apply makeup. Uh, pencil, I'm not, I, I see people doing pencil and I, it's just not my thing, especially like the little sanded pencil with the stuff. Like it just doesn't do well for me. But this, even though I will say using a brow pomade does take longer to do your eyebrows because it's like shape, especially since sometimes I want my eyebrows to be, instead of like arch, I want it to be kind of out. That's most of the time how I wear my eyebrows, especially um, especially now. But um, this is just, uh, love it, we'll buy it again. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. If you can get your hands on this and you're not like the best kind of freehand drawer of eyebrows and you wanna have a little bit more control, this and the brush will have you set, set up. So, this. I wanted to try this because I said, hey, I already have this, why not? So of course I wasn't gonna buy the large one because I wanted to try it out. And it comes with like a little brush. This thing sucks. Like I have it on right now, no shade. I tried to use this brush. No, the brush is like really dense yet fluffy. It's not precise enough. Um, this is the color of the thing it's like a brown if you can see versus the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills one it's like this is a medium brown though um, this is a cream gel brow and of course this is a brow pomade I'm sorry this is just one I feel like it's too light it's too light to give me the drama that I'm used to second of all this brush looks uh, third of all like for I think this is $24 in the large size this was $12 but I got it for 10 after my discount like you could just spend extra money and do this if you're gonna if you're gonna carve out your eyebrows with the uh brush and all that kind of stuff you might as well just use this because i had to now when i use the morphe brush to to do it it did help a lot it really it really did help a lot and it made my eyebrows a little bit better i'm used to a little bit more precision i don't know what it is about that anastasia brush but my lord but I don't think I would buy the full size of this. I feel like once this is done, this is done. I'm buying this. Even though, of course, you can get this little $12 one, maybe to practice, especially since it is a little bit higher of a brand than uh, NYX, or maybe they're a little bit on the same thing, on the same playing field, but really, really, this is a little bit higher for me, especially in price point. To try for, hey, go for it. 
I'm still gonna use it because I bought it. I could take it back, but who wants to drive the Ulta all the time? Uh, <laughs> I may take it back, I may not, but I'm just, I'm not in love with this product. I am in love with this product. So, okay, so the next thing I have are liquid eyeliners. And I have these two. So this is the Palladio. It's P-A-L-L-A-D-I-O. And this is the liquid eyeliner in bronze. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, and it is in a dark brown. And this is how the um, little stick for this looks. And this is how the little stick for this one looks. So the one here, well, I have waste that on me. Uh, the one here is the Wet n Wild. The one here is the uh, Paladino, if you can see. So with that being said, the brushes are different. This is like an actual brush. Like this, this one, the brush on this one will be similar to like a lipstick brush. Like it's very sleek, very sleek, very sleek. Um, this one is more of like a, like it doesn't move like that. Like it's more of like a sponge kind of thing. And I don't even want to say sponge, like a, I don't even know what's under that. When I'm finished with this, I may like uh, wash it off and see what it actually is. But this one is a little bit more controlled versus this one being a actual brush. I like both of these. I don't know why I bought this. I feel like some girl in Ulta or Sephora, I think they sell this in Sephora, if I'm not mistaken, um, told me that this would be great, you know, if I was looking for a brown uh, eyeliner because I couldn't find this one in brown at first. I can only find the Wet n Wild in black. And then I found it in brown. Uh, so this one is of course cheaper than this one. I do not know how much this one is because I've had it for quite some time. Um, this one is good to practice with. I do feel like because my eye shape, sometimes I put a little bit too much and it, it makes my eye seem smaller. And so I have to work on that. Um, of course, working with liquid liner can be really difficult uh, because it can get everywhere. It can get the slightest thing you can mess up. Uh, but I enjoy both of these products. Um, when I want a little bit more control and I'm able to sit there for a little while longer and I'm not really just trying to swipe it and go, this one, if I'm just trying to swipe it and go and I'm not really trying to do anything that intricate, this one. Because usually when I'm doing something extremely intricate, I'm using a cream eyeliner. So this is great. This is great. I'm sure this is cheaper. So if you want to practice before trying to find this, go get it, girl. Okay, so the next thing I have is a liquid highlighter. I use liquid highlighters because, again, I love liquid and cream products on my face because of how dry my skin is. I feel like when I use too much powder, I start looking very casket sharp. So one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow and Face Highlighter in the color bronzed. And this is the Becca Liquid Highlighter in Rose Gold. So, see the applicator for that one? Do a little bit. And then there is no applicator for this one, uh, for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. It's just like a, like a, like a little squirt. So you can see them right here. So you have the rose gold and then you have the bronze. So. I actually just bought this product. I found it on sale at the TJ Maxx and I really liked it. It wasn't that expensive. I'm sure in store it's it's expensive or not expensive, but you know, it wasn't what I paid for at the TJ Maxx. And this, I actually got this um, as a gift set. Uh, so this is the shimmering spotlight protector in the rose gold. I've seen these in stores. I've seen them in the powders. I actually have another one, uh, a bigger one. And I really like the Becca highlighters. They're really pigmented. They're really good. I really, really like them. These brands, Becca and Anastasia Beverly Hills are kind of on the same range of when it comes to makeup. Um, I do like both. Of course, I'm partial to gold tones because of my skin tone, but don't sleep on the pink. Like, don't sleep on it. Like, it's, it's really good. I like the applicator on this one. It's more spongy. The fact this doesn't have an applicator is kind of irritating, but I do use my fingers anyway to apply my highlighter before I go back in with a sponge or anything or, um, or set my highlighter with a powder highlighter. So, um, if you can find this, definitely, definitely get it. I really like it. Definitely recommend it. If you can find the set that this came in, it came in this small size, plus it also came with a uh, powder highlighter, then I would definitely get that and try out before you go buy the bigger sizes of the Becca um, highlights. So, all right, so speaking of Becca highlights, so just like I said, I like to put a liquid or a cream highlight on first and then I like to go back over it with a powder highlight just to kind of amp it up because I feel like my skin's gonna drink that liquid up. So I have the Becca Rose Gold Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed um, Highlighter and I also have this ColourPop highlighter, which is the um, Avalon Super Shock Cheek Paralyzed highlighter. So this is how the Becca Rose Gold one looks. 
and it was paired with that liquid one um, that I showed previously and this is how the ColourPop one looks. So I probably used this one to go over the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzed one and I used this one of course over the Becker one. So of these two, of course I'm partial to this, this came with the set so it wasn't, um, I think the set was like $20. I think I got it on sale. Um, this, you know, ColourPop is always having a sale and it's always good. Their stuff is always top notch. Um, this is how that one looks. Um, Avalon, I don't even know if they still have this color. I might've gotten it a while ago. It's like a burnt kind of orange color. And then this is supposed to be like a rose gold, but you can see that here, you have the um, ColourPop one, and of course next to it you have the becca one now as you can see the becca one is really not showing up that pink is just it's just very light it's a very light that's why i do like to go back over that um, liquid one with this just to kind of add that a little bit of shimmer just a little bit now this is rose gold to be honest becca does have other colors honestly better colors i really want to try champagne pop so i may more than likely not buy this set again I probably wouldn't buy that set again. That pink, it looks really nice. It's very subtle, but with my skin tone, I really don't know if the pink, the pink can work, but it's just not something that I'm just enamored by. I would definitely buy this again from ColourPop, the Avalon. It is so nice. Um, it's great. It's They're not that expensive. I think they're anywhere between six to $8. If you go in the uh, little clearance section, you might be able to get it for cheaper. So I love both of these products. Always a ColourPop fan, but if I get another Becca pressed, um, shimmering pressed highlighter I'm gonna probably go for champagne pop or another color okay so next thing I have are these two so I don't like to wear lipstick every day sometimes I just want to throw something on and, and hit it to the beat and that means a gloss I have really big lips though sometimes so gloss makes me feel kind of subconscious to be honest but um, my lips dry out it's a dry skin girl problem and so finding a gloss that's gonna stay on my lips all day be glossed BB and I don't have to keep reapplying and reapplying because I don't want to put it in my purse because then I don't want to lose it and then I don't want to spend a whole bunch of money and then I lose something this so Rihanna did that this Fenty gloss is just amazing I can literally apply this to my lips the beginning of the day in the morning and it my lips will stay moisturized even if this isn't like pronounced on them it will stay moisturized the entire day the entire day living live for this now this is I think $19 and they just came out with a clear version of this I'm so tempted to buy the clear version the only thing I don't want to buy the only reason why I don't want to buy the clear version is I don't like clear glosses especially expensive clear glosses because I feel like when you put them over something and you mess up the wine that's it so if I bought that clear gloss I would also have to buy those little throwaway tester things to put it on over something because I'm not about to mess up my gloss especially not been on $19 not I so get this like usually a $20 gloss is like really this is worth it like I've had this since it launched and it's the, the formula is just so look at that like it's just so creamy and so dense like oh my god I live for this like this is amazing Rihanna I live for this thing like this is one of the best things out of that first drop that she did like this and of course the foundation but this she knew what she was doing when she came out with another color because people love this and I haven't tried it hopefully it's the exact same formula just not the color but this is amazing if you have $20 to get toward the gloss I would get this over anything else the other one I have is the um Alyssa Ashley elf in the nude rose now this is something new I've tried it once I don't even uh I guess I could swatch it on it's a little bit deeper if you can see it's a little bit deeper it's not it's a gloss but it's like a colored gloss um I don't really know if it dries down um I don't really know if it dries down I think the color is gorgeous I think the color is beautiful um it sells out a lot on elf you can only get it to my understanding on the elf website you can't get it in stores which is ridiculous but I feel like elf needs to start releasing a lot more of their online stuff in stores because come on girl I know you be having sales but sometimes I just want to go get it so this is really good I would definitely buy this again it's like a mauve it's pink kind of thing like it's really nice and it's really affordable this could definitely be an everyday gloss color like or to go over a lipstick like it's amazing shout out to her shout out to elf for collaborating with her like that's a really good gloss um if your funds aren't reaching for the Fenty right now I would definitely wait for the uh Lisa Ashley uh elf color to come back in and the rose gold because um it sells out and I just so happen to get it and it's about six dollars compared to the twenty dollars you're gonna spend for the Fenty okay so the last thing that I have 
that I like to use in my, my makeup routine are these bad boys. So um, you may notice that this is the Fenty Body Lava and Brown Sugar. Um, it was limited edition and it sold out and I just happened to get my hands on one. And I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Topaz. And so this is the little applicator and this is the applicator on this one. Um, as you can see, this is a lot bigger than that one. I don't know how many fluid ounces. Okay, so this one's three fluid ounces and this one is 1.7. So this was really expensive. You can't, I don't even think you can find this anymore. You might be able to find it secondhand online or something, but um, unless you got it when it dropped, I don't think they're making this anymore. They may, they may or may not. Um, this, you can definitely go find this. Um, I used to like to really put this into my foundation. Uh, especially in the winter time because maybe that golden glow that I use with the luster drops is just a little too high shine for the winter so I really like to use this let me see usually though oh it was a lot that was a lot um, usually though I like to put it here so I like to put it on my chest I don't know if you can see that um, especially when I wear like low-cut things but it's right here that is the Becca in Topaz that's what that color looks like and then with the Fenty like you really don't need a lot so I like to use that one as well so I like to I don't have the kabuki brush that she sold with it I just use my fingers because I just use my fingers so this is the uh, Becca and this is the Fenty so those are the two um the Fenty is a little deeper the Becca is a little like antique goldish both of them are extremely gorgeous like both of them are gorgeous. And I feel like if you can't find the um, the Fenty, I would definitely go ahead and get the Becca. And you can even see, like even when I wiped it a little bit, this is the Fenty side, this is the Becca side. You can see that the Becca side is still a little bit more pronounced than the Fenty. The Fenty just kind of uh, blends in. And I know some people say like, oh, the Fenty is tacky. I ain't never had no tacky problem with it. Uh, the Becca is really thick though. It's, it's thick. That's why I feel like it kind of moved that way. Um, but it's so worth it. Like, it's it's really good. And, and you could actually fade out the Becca to look a little bit more like the Fenty. So it has, they're both kind of oil-based. They're really nice. I like them both. I would definitely, when I run out of the Fenty, Lord, don't ever let me run out before she releases it again. Uh, I will use this one. I only use my Fenty on special occasions because I don't want it to run out. I haven't used this one actually all summer because I have the Fenty and I haven't really worn a lot of low cut stuff. But, um, when the winter time comes, I feel like I'll be adding this to my foundation instead of the, the um, gold luster drops. All right, everybody, that is it. Thank you so much for watching my channel. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments or um, anything that you want to ask about any of the products that I showed in this video, please feel free to comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to this video, like the video, and if you want to be notified first of when I upload new content, please hit that little bell. And until next time, guys, bye.